Lobular carcinoma in situ arises from the lobules and terminal ducts and is characterized by proliferation of small cells with round nuclei that conform to the normal lobule. Compared to atypical lobular hyperplasia, more than half the acini in a lobular unit are filled and distended by LCIS cells. However, unlike DCIS, LCIS is not a precursor lesion for invasive carcinoma, but rather a risk indicator with a 1% risk per year of cancer in either breast and 30-40% to lifetime risk. Even though women with LCIS are more likely to develop invasive lobular carcinoma compared to the general population, invasive ductal carcinomas are still more common. LCIS is often an incidental finding and if found on core biopsy should undergo excisional biopsy, although the risk of upgrade to DCIS or invasive cancer is low. LCIS found incidentally on an excisional biopsy or at the margins of a specimen does not require re-excision. Treatment is focused on risk reduction strategies. The majority of LCIS is hormone positive and chemo prevention is recommended with selective estrogen receptor modulators such as tamoxifen or aromatase inhibitors such as anastrozole. Pleomorphic LCIS is a subtype of LCIS characterized by central necrosis and calcifications and requires surgical excision. DCIS is a premalignant lesion characterized by the clonal proliferation of malignant epithelial cells that are confined within the basement membrane of the mammary ducts with no evidence of invasion. DCIS often presents as microcalcification seen on screening mammography and is confirmed with a stereotactic core needle biopsy. Linear segmental calcifications are more likely to be associated with the comedose subtype, whereas granular or amorphous calculations are more often associated with the less aggressive non-comedose subtype. The goal of management is to rule out concurrent invasive breast cancer and prevent progression to cancer by removing the premalignant disease. Management strategies for DCIS include breast conservation therapy, radiation therapy, and adjuvant endocrine therapy to reduce the risk of recurrence. A sentinel lymph node biopsy is not necessary unless a mastectomy is performed as complete removal of breast tissue alters lymphatics. Adequate excision of DCIS requires 2 mm margins as opposed to invasive breast cancer, which requires no ink on the tumor. Radiation therapy has been shown to reduce the risk of local recurrence by 50%, and there is no role for chemotherapy in DCIS.